Peter B's party, LP, has constitutional impossibility of winning the next election. Hanato Musawa, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bells. In the early hours of Wednesday, Barista Hanato Musawa, a member of the All Progressives Congress, APC's presidential campaign council, PCC, said that Peter Gregory B. Liberal Party had no chance of winning the general election of 2023. The Tsunambu Shetima campaign's deputy spokesman, Barista Hanata Musa, said that the Labour, chance, Labour Party chances of winning the election are constitutionally impossible due to Section 134 of the Constitution. She said that Labour Party supporters should address the constitutional impossibility issue before criticizing the governing party's presidential candidate, Bola Ahmed Tsunambu. Members of the Labour Party could have a smidgen of hope of gaining a small amount of ground if they focus on the work ahead, but it is improbable, she said. Last but not the least, Paris Hanato Musa Musa prayed for ambition and to wish success for her presidential candidate in 2023. Bios post Ruthos. Even though I do understand the desperation and misery of the PDP who have been hit worse than the Titanic raising so was the iceberg within the loss of five brightly shining governors and the anguish of despair. Labour Party, who have a constitutional impossibility of winning the next election based on Section 134 of the Constitution, it would be advisable for them to remain on the issues while they try to sort out their in-house complications. If they concentrate on the tax ahead, they might have a smidgen of hope of gaining a tiny bit of ground although it is unlikely. Now, let me say this. I don't know why Labour Party, who do not have structures, who they are not capable of doing anything, they are only present on social media, is now, you know, coming out from the opposition mouth, whom I don't think they should be even able to. You know, I told the people, if you are a marketer for a particular organization or company, you don't come out and start talking about your, your rival's product. You don't do that. That's absurd. And so you want Nigeria to continue to die in the wicked policies of old politicians? God forbid, because with God, all things are possible. Do you understand? All of a sudden, these people are now coming out, talking about, you know, Labour Party, Labour Party, Labour Party. I mean, sometimes I find it very strange. You are, you are picked out to campaign for a particular party. And then... When you come out, the little time you come out, you come out and you are doing what? You are talking about your rival. To me, it doesn't make sense. And I feel this pattern uh, of the, uh, what's it called? The pattern that Nigerians are looking up to. I think the APC and most especially the PDP, they are looking, they are, they are finding it difficult to catch up. Because it is no longer campaigning on this is what I'll do or read us nursery rhymes. People have was, people are not wise. People are not asking questions. Okay, we know that this is what you're going to do. But how are you going to do, do it? How are you going to go about it? What exactly are you going to be doing? Okay, if your plans now, if this your plans now fail, do you understand? What is your backup plan? People are not asking these questions. I don't need this woman. I think, I think maybe I've seen her before, but I don't think the right thing for you to do is to come out and start talking. This one will not win. Is that is that is left that is our next job? I mean, you want to also work for INEC as well. Sell your candidate. Sell him. Sell your candidate to people. Tell people why this your candidate is better. What he's going to do. Let and even the your candidate should even come out and even sell himself. As you want Nigeria to continue to die, the wicked politicians of the okay in the wicked hands of the old politicians. God forbid. Because God, oh, with God, all things are possible. Obi well, being in the game has made most elite professors turn idiotic in reason, and because it is difficult to campaign for APC, you will look so stupid. My own is sell your candidate. Eh, your candidate or um, P2B's party or another party, uh, what's it called, board, will not win, is not campaigning. Come out and be issue based for goodness sakes. Come outside and sell yourself to these people. Why is it so difficult for the APC to do so? Ha. Okay. Do you need the constitution to win an election? 
Once you meet the lecture requirement, you are good to go. This woman is out to rubbish herself by displaying that she is a half illiterate. Okay. <laughs> Abusing and insulting other people is the only thing that you obedience are good at. Instead of people to do your homework perfectly and perfectly, you will hear your woefully results by next day, February. What which which homework again? Which homework? My own is APC, PDP, most especially, as in both of them. They are all known for, they are always known for attacking each other. I keep saying that God will bless today. NNPP, Labour Party and other parties came, you know, and joined this race. Because it was a game changer. Before, we had only APC and PDP. Imagine how dry it would have been. Imagine, you are just going to be listening to this one will come and rant. This one is one with, it will not win election. That will not win election. No issue based, nothing, nothing. But, you know... This new, this election is new. It's, this election is going, it's not going to be business as usual. It's brand sparkling new. In the sense that if you come out, you have to tell us what exactly you are going to do for us because you are asking us to give us your uh, mandate. And we cannot just carry our mandate and give to you just like that. You have to tell us what we are going to be expecting. Just like if you go for an interview. If you go for an interview, you are going to be asked questions. And of course, those questions, you would answer, you don't have a choice. It's not a matter of you can skip, you no, you cannot skip. You have to answer the questions. And that is it. Surprise, she has a point to become president. You must win the majority of the vote, but B2B will win the majority flat down. But despite that, he cannot be president unless he win 25 of the vote in 24 states. That is where B2B's problem will come. B2B will win half of his state in Nigeria, that is 18 states, including the FCT. Tenebo will win it. Kwara, Ogun, Oyo, Oshun, Ondo, Ekiti, Yobi, and Bruno. Kwangwase will also win 8. Atiko will win 1. Adamawa, Pitobi will also score 25% of the vote in 22 states. So he needs two monothan states to give him 25%. He needs to work hard in the following northern states. Bauchi, Gombe, Kebi, and Niger states. So that he can get 25 in two of them. If he does not score 25% in 24 states, the election goes for a runoff. The good thing is, Kwan has already announced that he, should he not get the second position after Obi, he would work to have Obi as president. This one, you're sounding like this. You don't, you don't focus on it. Now, wow, don't be too sure about anything. Hmm. Okay. Charge and bail lawyer. How many cases have you won at the Federal High Court? Any appearances at Supreme and Appeal Court? Lawyer, my, my own is... I am even surprised the way she comes out and she's saying, Hope you're not going there. Is that your concern? Is that your business? Ha ha! Hey, it's just like, you know, when somebody's all out and you're not doing the right thing and you're not getting it right, and the person is not the very department, the person is not a lecturer, the person is just, you'll be like, Why are you, why are you so into my business? All right, um, what she says, what she says is still valid. Where did the electoral law drive its validity? Of course, it is from the Constitution. Okay. Um, okay. Um, let me let me say this. Let me say this. She is entitled to opinion, but me, my own bone of contention is, come out and tell people what your your what your principal will do or your candidate. Don't come outside and be in other people's business. Whether they win or not, it's not even the, if not even for you to start coming and start saying to decide at all. It is for it is for you to come out, sell your candidate, and make sure Nigerians are convinced about your candidate. Else, this will give you job. Ha! Let me say I'm going to collect the job from you. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for sending me to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.